Yeah, we ain't tripping. We can swap it out. <laughs> hey, man. Check this out, man. My boy said you can have the biggest Chanel bag in the store if you want it. He meant that shit. We just didn't know he meant that shit. <laughs> with sweetie. With streety pie. Hey, man, so... What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Bitch, just LaFleur from that Facts and Cap podcast. And once again, we back, baby. And I need y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. And hey, man, y'all see it. The internet detectives win again, man. You know, so the internet has found the photos of, I guess, maybe a shopping spree. I don't know. Of Sweetie and Lil Baby, you know, I guess they're a thing. There's some kind of item she's sitting on his lap. And, you know, at first, you know, he it was a rumor that they was at the Chanel store. He spent 100000 You know, he got her the biggest biggest Chanel bag in the store because she wanted it. And allegedly, you know, he came out and said, I'm single. So he didn't confirm nor deny it. Um, but, I mean, the picture's out, man. It's definitely them together. And... I think that, you know, this is stirring up some controversy. We seen Quavo respond to it. You know, he got real play on it. He hit the old Jeezy lyrics. You know, we ain't tripping. We can swap it out. <laughs> I don't know if he's saying, hey, man, I'll trade you, sweetie, for Jada, bro. What's going on? You know, but it is a little weird. It is a little, it is moving a little funny on sweetie's part because it's like, damn, you fucking with the ops? You know, not that, not that Sweetie owes Quavo any loyalty. They not together. They have been broken apart for a little bit. But you know what comes with that. She know what come with that. Maybe she prepared for it, maybe she not. But it just it, it just looks a little weird on my part because we all know that, you know, the Migos and, and Baby, the entourage, they camp. It's a little it's a little shaky between them. I don't know if it's a a real street beef, but we know that there's some tension, right? You know, QC the label. So I just think it's a little, it's a little, it's a little weird on her part, you know. Obviously, maybe she built for that. You know, I think morally, as far as me, I think it's it's I'm gonna look at it like this. When you're sign when when you're we all know how in Hollywood everybody in the industry people are always mess with the same people, right? So this is one of the cases, and then my whole thing is, if, if you're sweetie, is this what you want to be known for? Do you want to be known for the pass around? Now, mind you, I ain't saying that she is a pass around, right? But what I am saying is that's what it's going to look like to the people. And I get it. Don't live your life for the people. But it's just once you start doing that, that's what goes on. Now, I think it's kind of player. She could be like, hey, shit, these niggas some pass around. I'm passing these niggas around. You feel me? But it's never going to be looked at like that. I ain't going to lie. I think I see even the women kind of like, eh, sweetie, I don't know about this one. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like, damn, you got out of bed with Quavo. You just went across the hallway. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a little weird. It's just a little weird on her part. You know, I think that, um, I think that it's just like, you know, you can be looked at either like a hoe. You know, they're going to look at you like, like on some, and Asian doll didn't do this, but they just gonna look at you like an Asian doll, like where, you know, you just kind of like, they're like, damn, you annoying, you feel me? Like you just trying to hop from fame to fame. You trying to just, you know, you just trying to be seen. Like, is this a clout thing? You know what I'm saying? Which I still think there's probably some clout to it. And it, hey, by the way, you still look a little funny cause it's like, damn, you went from Quavo, then you went to little baby ex-boyfriend, uh, uh, James Harden. And now you with, now you with him. So it's like, damn, where the loyalty at, man? You just hit a triple double, you know what I'm saying, on three of the homies. But anyway, you could either look like you could either look like a hoe, but you also could be capitalizing off of it, like, like Kim Kardashian. You feel me? Because Streety don't make the best music, you know. So I think that Streety's Streety's talents are beyond music i think acting and just the internet as an influencer that's where she is so it seemed like maybe you taking that kim kardashian route now kim has been the thing is this is what i'm saying like it's it's kind of unfair but it is what it is 
Kim Kardashian stay getting labeled as a hoe, but every nigga that she with is her boyfriend. She's always with a nigga that's like her boyfriend. But we look at it as men, not, not saying me, but in general, on the internet, it's like, hey, she a hoe. I think that, you know, it's a brand ambassador, but it's just, you kind of like a brand ambassador, but it's kind of like a, 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 a hit you gonna have to take. So if that's what you willing to do, sweetie, then hey, by all means, live your fucking best life with these niggas and do what you gotta do, right? But I just think, you know, it's a slippery slope. You see how Quavo already talking on you and I don't know if Quavo saying that from a place of hurt or maybe the fans is just trolling him and they trolled him into, into doing what he did and to saying what he said, but it look, already make you look a little funny. You know what I'm saying? Like he's saying, you know, we can swap it out. Hashtag QC the label. Basically saying, keep it all in the family. You got um, Jada liking it. I don't know what, what that's about. I don't know if like, you know, she, you know, when these girls, they be, you know, exes and all that shit. You know, this is all for the internet, man. Keep that shit off the internet. Well, I ain't gonna do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. It ain't my business. But, you know, I just think that, you know, it's looking a little funny, man. You want to fuck with the ops, man. You know, even if they weren't the ops, it's like, damn, you fucking with the label, mate. Like, not even like on some Interscope records. Like, you went to the same, like, QC Anyway, man, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Do y'all think that, you know, this is foul on on Sweetie's part? Or do y'all think that it's no harm, no foul? Do y'all think this is a real thing? Do y'all think that they both just trying to, it's a publicity stunt. They trying to get a little gain off of something. Y'all let me know, man. What do y'all think about this situation, man? Hey, man, hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hey, man, hit that notification bell on the top right. Hey. Hit that subscription. I know that I've been gone for four or five days, but you know, I'm kind of like the post office, man. When the goddamn vacation, when it's goddamn uh, Thanksgiving, when it's a holiday, I'm out of here, buddy. So I'm back. We've been moving too. So, hey, man, I'm back in full effect. Check out that Facts of Cap podcast. Facts of Cap podcast in the link below my podcast. We just dropped an episode for Thanksgiving. And we out, baby. Blah! Subscribe for daddy channel.